Hello friends, welcome to the part 2 of the video series on object detection with TensorFlow Lite Model Maker. In this video, we will download our sample images to create an object detection model. Now, there are many ways to get your data set. One of the biggest source of machine learning data set is Kaggle. You can search your data set here. One more important website for object detection and classification is RoboFlow. So there are multiple object detection data set available on this website. You can create an account here and download it for free. In my upcoming video, I will going to develop a object detection model on aquarium data set. So watch out this space. In this video series, we are not going to use an existing database. What we are going to do is we are going to download images from Google and create our own data set. In this video series, I have thought to create celebrity data set. These celebrities belong to technological world. So let's get started. A small note here that in this video series, I'm not going to write many lines of code. Instead, I'm going to use existing written code by me. The code used in this video series will be on my GitHub repository and the link for that is in the description of this video. Let me open this folder on Visual Studio Code. Before we start downloading image from Google, we need to create an environment and install the packages. So there is a requirement txt file. You can install these packages before starting the project. Now I have already created a conda environment and installed all the required packages. One last thing before we start downloading images from Google is to see this configuration file. This configuration file creates all the folders required for this project. Then it has some constant variables that we are going to use throughout the series. So before we download the images, there are two things that we need to address. One, number of images per class. So let's say we have like six classes, then we want to download five images per class. So for better clarity and understanding, I will download 15 images per class. Second thing, there is a tags.js file, sorry, tags.json file. So Google image downloader Python file will use these tags to download images. So since we have set 15, so this Google image downloader will download 15 images of Elon Musk, Sundar Pichai, Tim Cook, Bill Gates and Steve Jobs each. So let's get started. So this is a simple web scraper using Selenium and web driver manager. So this code is sort of self explanatory. There is download Google image function written. And what we do is first read the tags. And then for each tag, we download the images and number of images per class, we have set that to 15. So let me run the file. You can see it has created since it requires configuration file and configuration file has created all the and it has started the selenium web scraper and it will start going to the bottom of the page google image page and then it will download images one by one and you can see the logs here as well I will fast forward till it downloads all the images and I will resume after that. Now 
the process of downloading images is finished and we can verify that by going to the downloaded images folder and you can see we have downloaded around 75 images there are two things on this approach one we get you know similar images there is a high possibility that we get similar images like this okay like this so you know it's hard to develop a data set but it's not that hard and for this demonstration purpose i will work with these images so let's move to the next part of the video in the next part we will create data sets training testing and validation from these images and label these images see you in the next video if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel thank you for watching peace